This video is part of our home theater design series where we will cover how to mount your front projector to your ceiling. If you're thinking about doing a DIY home theater, mounting the screen or the projector may give you some pause, but there's no need to worry. With the right knowledge and some of our tips, you will be able to install your projector like an expert. Now let's get started. First, if you haven't bought your projector mount yet, check out audioadvice.com where you can put in your projector and the height of the pole that you need, and it makes it super simple so you get the one that matches the correct mount to your projector and have it look super sleek and clean in your space. Okay, step one, find the right location for your projector. Now, many factors come into play when determining the location of where to mount your actual projector. And this may seem overwhelming, but Audio Advice has actually created the perfect solution. Simply use our free home theater design tool to plug in your room dimensions, your seating, and everything else. Now from there, the tool will do all of the calculations to where to place everything, including the projector, in real time. Now it's even gonna let you choose your projector model, your screen size, aspect ratio, immersion level, and viewing angle, screen border width, screen gain, brightness and nits, and most importantly, your projector throw distance. After plugging in all of these numbers, you will be able to drag your projector back and forth to exactly where you want it and see the nits increase and decrease in real time. Typically, you want it as close to the screen as possible along the slider to get the most nits and the highest performance out of your projector. However, there are some other aspects to consider. Now, some projectors can be noisy and you don't want a projector directly overhead of someone in the back row of seats. Additionally, if you have low ceilings, you don't want to hit your head on the projector just by walking by it. So it's best to think about these things as you slide the projector back and forth on the tool to find the very best spot in your room to place it. And if you can't decide, reach out to our team of experts and they can help you determine. Once you've determined the location, you can see the height from the ceiling down to the projector that you will need to hang it. Then you can also look at your throw distance calculations so that you know how far away from the screen you need to hang it on your ceiling. At Audio Advice, we've installed thousands of projectors across the United States, and we realize that not every single theater room is exactly the same. So for more advanced features, try out our free projector throw distance tool, where you can actually make more adjustments, such as changing the vertical offset to raise or lower your projector from the ideal position if you need to do so. This also shows you the ideal extension pole length, and you can see you can adjust it if you need to, as well as changing the horizontal offset to move it left or right from the center of your screen, where we typically want it to be, but we understand some situations may need to go left or right. So if you have a unique situation like this, our experts can help guide you along the way to make sure it's in the best possible location in your room for the best performance. All right, step two is to actually hang the projector on your ceiling. So next, mark the location where you've determined to mount your projector based off the throw distance that you got from the tool. You'll wanna run your cables to that location. Find a stud in your ceiling with a stud finder and try to use it if possible. If there are none, it's important to use drywall anchors that are rated for well above the weight, the projector, and the mount combined. Usually, mounts will come in about three pieces. The mount that will attach to the ceiling, the telescopic pole, and the mount that attaches to the projector. Mount the first attachment to the ceiling in the location that you've marked out. Now add the telescopic pole with the correct height that you've determined from the home theater tool. Then attach the final attachment to the projector and have a friend help you attach it to the telescopic pole. Now most mounts are pretty similar, but it's important to always follow the instruction manual that came with your projector mount as they will vary slightly by brand. Okay, now you have your projector hanging in the correct location, but you are not done yet. Step three, level the projector and make those fine tune adjustments. At this point, you're gonna wanna get a level and make adjustments so that the projector is perfectly level to earth. Loosen the screws slightly or use the fine tune adjustments on the audio advice mount to make it level and make sure you level perpendicular to the screen and parallel to the screen to be sure that it's level every single way. All right, step four, turn it on and calibrate the projector. So you're gonna wanna attach all your cabling and the power cable and then power on your projector. 
use the lens shift and zoom features to get it centered perfectly on your screen. We also recommend going through our free home theater audio and video upgrades playlist to get everything from focus to RGB calibration perfectly perfected. Our team runs all of these tests in every theater to ensure it's calibrated to the very best that it can be. And remember, this part can be a little tedious, so take your time to get it perfectly square with your screen. And if you've mounted it at the correct height that our tool has told you, and it's perfectly level, you should be able to get this right just by using the lens shift and lens zoom features. We want to avoid keystoning as that can actually take away from the image quality. So take your time to get it right in this step. All right, you've got your projector mounted and it's time to enjoy. Now, if you're watching this video to plan for the future and you haven't even mounted your screen yet, click the link in the description where we have a full in-guide tutorial of how to mount your screen to your wall. Now, I hope this video has been helpful to your DIY home theater project. If you have questions about how to mount your projector or your screen or any other DIY tips, please feel free to reach out to our team. And once you have your mount, if you purchased it from Audio Advice, our tech team can help you along the way with any questions as you go through these steps. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.